13 is your local election headquarters and as we mentioned at the top of the show early voting started today in South Carolina and we have everything you need to know before heading out to the polls. News 13's Hannah Huff Stickler is in Carolina for us with a look at some early voting sites. Early voting centers across the Palmetto State, including the Grand Strand and the PD, will be open from 830 to 6 starting today through November 2nd. According to the South Carolina Election Commission, offices will be closed on October 30th. Some of the early voting locations in Horry County include Aner Town Hall, North Strand and South Strand Recreation Center, and the Loris Public Safety Center. In Darlington County, you can go to the Voter Registration and Elections Annex or Jerusalem Baptist Church. And in Florence, there will be early voting at the Timothville, Johnsonville, and Lake City Public Libraries, as well as the Voter Registration and Elections Office. Jeffrey Gill was the first voter in line at the Ora County Memorial Library in Carolina Forest. So many issues out there right now, but I, honestly, I'm just tired of a lot of the divisiveness. I just want us to be able to just, take, you know, have a good uh, open discussion and everything, not just kind of uh, turn everything into just a... Uh, uh, name calling and, and all that's been going on lately. Again, you can vote early in South Carolina before the election between today and November 2nd. In Carolina Forest, Hannah Huffstickler, News 13. And for a full list of early voting locations across our area, you can head on over to our website, WBTW.com. And some voting centers along the Grand Strand are already seeing long lines at the polls today. This video was shot outside the South Strand Recreation Center in Myrtle Beach. You can see plenty of folks eager to cast their ballots on the first day of early voting. We spoke with one voter who says if you're able to get out and vote early, the sooner the better. You know, it's so important to get out and vote. And when the weather is as great as it is this week here in Myrtle Beach, why not go out now instead of waiting till the 5th if you can do that? Uh, it could be a rainy day on the 5th and maybe people won't want to leave the house. So get out now while this weather is perfect. Uh, bring a bottle of water. I'd suggest that. There were a few people out here that I think they could have benefited from that. And uh, bring some comfortable shoes. Like I said, two hours. It was the best two hours I've spent in a long time. Some good tips there. Coming up tonight at 5 and 6, News 13's Eric Cooper will join us live from a first-time early voting site in the PD with an update on voter turnout there.